but they're really far. And I guess Mercury Old will come in handy here. Let's catch him. Oh, he's running back. Look at this. Ah, you're done for. What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Aladdin here, and today we'll play more again in Rain Conquest. And our dual lane is already dead. Yes. All right. Yes, 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 so, yes, yes, yes. totally fine. How you been doing, guys? Uh, I'm just trying to upload a video for you guys to know that I'm not dead, that the channel's still going, and just, just that I'm really, really unfortunate that I cannot really record as much. Uh, I cannot really play the game as much in the first place, and when I actually crank a couple hours... It usually doesn't work. I get extremely unlucky with the teammates. Like, for example, right now, our dual lane, as we mentioned, is already dead. For no fucking reason whatsoever. He dashed through the wave. I'm gonna get out pushed because I didn't hit, apparently, the speed buff. So that's gonna put us behind by quite a significant amount. Looks like my red is about to get stolen as well. <laughs> that just sucks. Okay, they got it. I am still level 1. This Agony is about to hit level 3. We're not gonna hit level... We are just gonna hit level 2 at best. That missed, huh? Oh, if that stun hit... So yeah, play Morrigan. She's apparently very strong nowadays. She's one of the latest addition to my god pool. I haven't played her before. I am, like, it's not my first game. I mean, I haven't played her, like, <laughs> in my total of my career. He's going for the red, maybe? Yeah, he wants to pick up that red. I cannot zone him. I don't have enough mana for that. So yeah, Morgan, very strong. Her stun, her ability to burst down people in late game is extremely good. This Alcoa might be dead. Nah, Agni didn't commit. I have no mana I can help. I have to back. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna miss any minions here. Agni's obviously still ahead. He's about to hit four. We got some experience of the speed buff, which is not bad. So yeah, what I was saying, Morgan. A very interesting god, apparently. I feel like she challenges me a lot when I play her. It's just that I have to pay attention to the enemy gods, to what our gods are doing, uh, what kind of combination I can do, what gods work better against what the enemy gods have. It's just really, really intense. And since I play most of the gods on decent level and know all the abilities, have mastered all the gods in the game, I can actually benefit off of Morgan pretty well. And since they fixed her, she's not as bugged anymore, you can actually play her. So that's what I'm doing. And even without her ultimate, she is actually very, very strong. Oh, that's Mercury. Okay, we have beats. We're totally safe here. Agni doesn't have bombs, so they kind of commit. I think I can kill him here, actually. Yep, there he goes. Get fucking solo, man. That pesky little Agni, he just hit 5 and decided that he's the shit. <laughs> I have no idea why he didn't dash though. Maybe he was um, just like a little bit, almost there, but not quite. Okay, we got him back here and probably get a full boots. So the fun part about Morrigan that you always have to keep in mind uh, which players on the both teams are escalating, who is the highest level, who has the best build. If it's not late game yet, what kind of skills they have that you can use because if you turn into them, you only gonna have the skills that you're leveling up. And it's really, really awesome. It's really fun. Let's turn to Agni here and see what we can do. Yeah, he dashed away. We got both. But we don't have our dash, he's actually ripping those bombs on us. I think I'm dead here. Yeah, unfortunate stuff. 
Nobody even budged into my direction. Geb, no shields. Ao Kuang is not paying attention. Okay, we still managed to pick up the red buff, which is pretty good. Even though the experience is not here. Gonna poke him out a little bit. Gonna take a bomb in response. Another one? Yeah, another one. More poke. He's comboing me through the two, which is not bad at all, but yeah, Merc looking for an ult. Nah, he's just a pussy. Owl might be dead. It's like he's out. That's good. Alright, good shield for once. This is what I like to see. I got baited. Agni is looking for a kill. This gap is messing up my clear. So he hold up the minions, which is pretty good. Which means that we're not gonna miss this wave. Gonna go for a red. Or certainly it's complete. It should be. No? Okay. Never mind. Meanwhile, people are dying in solo lane, which is what I like to see. We finally have some jungle presence. Need to clear this wave until I can join the fight. Oh, Gab actually died from this. Unfortunate stuff. But Al should land here and we can actually finish him off. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna help a little bit as well. Mercury's here, maybe looking for an ult? Doesn't look that way. I need a back for a full book of thought. Going for the red, I'm not gonna contest that. I'm just gonna push the wave here. We're actually in a bad spot here. Kind of oom. Maybe I can bait a couple bombs? No? Never mind. So, we're back in the game. Uh, we're just a little bit behind of Agni. It doesn't really matter. Maybe I can catch him here? Let's see. Ooh, I got both. Alright. He wasted two of his bombs and barely poked me out. Good game. Oh, how did that miss? I might be dead here. Okay, he let me go. I think I'm gonna clear this still and fall back. Our Falcon sees things others don't. Oh no, what my guys got killed? Fantastic. Look at you go. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot how aggressive an agony can be even without mana. Gonna bait him, maybe? No, he didn't take the bait. It was way too obvious, I guess. <laughs> oh, Geb is killing himself. What a man. I think I'll transform into my favorite Mercury and see what we can do here. Ah, oh, damn it, this missed. Well, that's his beats, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get anything out of this. Shit, that's a waste of it all. But it's okay, my ults at this point don't really matter. They're not as important as in late game, and in late game the cooldown is decreased significantly. There's a solid chance that Geb is dead. Nope, okay. Got really poked out, both of us are alive, so that's pretty good. There's a huge fight in red, we're gonna join that, we're gonna go in invis and maybe catch Agni. 
And there he is. And there's the kill. He definitely not expected me to go back in there. Like, uh, you see, I'm telling you, this this is the shit. <laughs> People don't expect that. It's like Mage Loki. I enjoy that very much. She can travel insane distances in her three and it's just a lot of time people do not expect that. Mercury's about to bait me. And yeah, he grabbed me before I was able to stun him. Gap's holding away from me again. What a man. What a legend. Okay, Agni's back. Oh, a word. Look at this. So right, Agni just went to right lane. Let's look at the red, it might be up. Unfortunately, I wasn't there to help them in the right lane, but the fight is finished. They should have disengaged without me telling them to do that. Holy shit! <laughs> Merc's actually dead. But our dual lane, meanwhile, is getting shit on. But Agni is dead as well. Oh, right. Maybe I should pay a visit to the solo uh, to the dual lane, but they're really far. I guess Mercury Old will come in handy here. Let's catch him. Oh, he's running back! Look at this. Ah, you're done for. Okay, there's my rip up. Th things are looking up for us. Even though we're not ahead at all. What the hell? We're like four kills ahead. I don't understand. Probably the dual lane is losing just too hard. Yeah, judging by the levels. Kumba is ahead, which means that, yeah, dual lane is losing. But I'm actually ahead of Agni right now. Aokong is a little bit ahead of Merc. Get him back, get our Aegis, finish our Deso. Right, let's see if we can surprise him a little bit. Yeah, just poke him out, delay his back a little bit. Geb decided not to do anything to him. Meanwhile, Bologna got ganked. But both of our solo laners are dead. This guy needs to get muted. Eh, along with the whole team, I guess. Holy shit, Merc is here. I didn't pay attention to that. Alright, dual lane actually killed the enemy ADC. That's what I like to see. There's a good chance that Merc is looking for an ult. I gotta hide behind the tower here. Kumba is actually feeling himself. Look at this. Look at this man. And the, the thing is, I cannot really engage on him. My damage won't be enough to burst him down, and he can actually kill me quite easily. I don't know why, why he thinks he can do that, but I am pretty sure he's dead. Well, he popped a sprint. It's more than enough. I think I can I can still kill him here. Yeah, there you go. I'm telling you guys, uh, Invis on the Burst Mage is insane. Gonna take that red buff, take the small camp and back. Probably gonna start it up folly. Maybe I can delay that by a little bit. Let's see if we can kill uh, Agni here. He dashed away. No, he's not here. Holy shit, that's his Aegis. Well, we got that. We can juke that out pretty easily. Oh, I'm in trouble here. Alright. Fuck. Still got me, though. But yeah, Alcon got him, so it's two for one trade. I'll take that.
So we took a Gold Fury, we took a tower in left lane, we got a kill on Jing Wei again and on Agni. We got a kill on Jing Wei again, but they're still fighting, they're gonna pay for that. Yeah, there goes Bologna. These guys don't, just don't know when to stop and they keep throwing the advantage that they get. The enemy team might be on fire giant, but I don't think they can actually do that. They might though. We're not paying attention. Holy shit, they actually commit. Unfortunate stuff. Let's take a Chernobog, maybe ult someone. Ah, no, that's a bad, that's a terrible, terrible ult. I thought that maybe someone might be low, but good shit, good play by them. Bad play by me. Okay, there's a huge fight in red buff. We're gonna join that. Agni's not paying attention, he's out. As soon as I land this, there you go. Okay, we can chase them down now. Aw, oh, Jingwei, I thought she's gonna go my way. Looks like she's out. Oh, cheers here. Oh, he took the bait! Alright. Let's help him in left. Jingwei is not coming my way. Oh, this didn't land, unfortunately. Oh, I, I wasn't able to ult. I'm gonna cut high and see what happens. Just stunning him in place. Let's get that Kumba, I guess. Tier is way hard to shut down, but actually this Kumba, he should be there, right? I'm gonna juke that out. I can keep up with him anyway. Oh, come on, man. I can always catch him with the Merc, but I don't think it's worth the ult. Nah, fuck it, let's ult. Let's actually ult Agni here. Oh, I missed the dash, but he's dead. He decided to walk off on me, what the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna take a lot of damage, but Age is gonna save me. Okay. Okay, he does not want to commit. He doesn't have anything. I missed. I'm dead. That's unfortunate. <laughs> if I hit that, I would've won that fight, but yeah. I wonder where my team is. Why am I always ulting into Merc? Let's ult into Agni, maybe. Oh, I missed all my bombs, unfortunate stuff. That however hit. That's a bop. Merc should be dead here as well. Alright. He decided to waste the blink, but whatever. Tower here is easy. I have poly so we can push it down rather easy. Yeah, 85, 89 on that poly prop. Well, tears here. Nobody pushed minions, so we might actually be in trouble here. Okay. Okay, Geb decided to shield himself instead of me, huh? I don't think we can kill this Kumba, so I better focus on the tower here. Now we can kill Kumba. Never mind. There's a huge fight. Tears also here. Now he decided to ignore me. That's a tunnel vision at its best. Oh, a three man stun! Kumba's dead. Agni should be dead as well. Oh no, he survived. That's Jing old. Yeah, Cherno ulted in. Got both of them. I'm gonna ult in as a Merc. Fight me. 
fight me. He decided not to. Oh, that's an ult. Oh, he doesn't see me. He does not pay attention. There you go. Bop. Phoenix is down. We should take the mid tower and probably back off of it. I'm also going to clear all the jungle while they're taking towers. And we're going to have an insane advantage off of that. Taking the purple, even gonna take oracles, gonna have more than 4k gold off of that, which is insane. I'm thinking Cronus Pendant and maybe Rata to Hoodie. With the Fire Giant and Red Buff, it's gonna be insane power spike. <laughs> like, absolutely through the roof. Okay, so all we need to do now is just group the fuck up and finish the game. We're 12k ahead. This should be our last fight. Oh, someone's here. It's Merc. Let's go, baby! Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> Let's see who's more lucky in the crits. Ah, oh, he got more lucky in the crits. Shit. And he's out. Okay, I'm gonna take this red and join the fight as soon as possible. They're actually chasing down this tier. He should be dead. I think I'm gonna ult into the fight in three seconds. That's a Chernabog. Now we're actually so fast, I'm just gonna walk there. I just like my Merc, guys. I, I don't care. I'm gonna ult as a Mercury. That was the best ult ever. Got the Phoenix. I'm thinking about. Oh, shit. Might be dead here. No. Never mind. He missed everything. He's dead. <laughs> Bop. This is like this shit level of damage. Absolutely insane. And it's, that's gonna be game. Okay. Fortune favors us today. now. Okay, so like a very quick summary of the game. Um me as a Morgan. I've been playing this god uh quite some time and ranked now as the newest addition to my roster. Very enjoy that if you looking for a new powerful god that is currently in the meta might try that one as well i'm building usually like this it's almost a cookie cutter build except for the rata to hoodie it's situational it can be something different like a divine for example maybe a little bit more pen but usually i go into pen boots into spirit death so for the cooldown because cooldown is extremely important in morrigan cronus pendant instead of the uh, boomba's mask because i feel like the passive of the Chrono's Pendant is extremely valuable for longest cooldown in the game. On the Morrigan Ultimate, uh, Polynomicon to combo with her stun is just exceptional. This Mercury in the late game got 560 damage to his head after a stun and completely disappeared without me even using it too. Uh, Book of Thoth Rush is always important because you want that power, you want to be able to dish out insane amounts of damage out of your invisibility. And in Relics everything is as per usual. Comparing that to Agni, Agni is actually building bullshit, I don't like that bit at all, build at all. His gameplay was also not on point, also I know this guy, he lost me more than one game in the last couple of days. Um, actually had some time to play the smite and these this guy is one of the people that had actually ruined in my games along with that mercury of theirs <laughs> so uh about others chernabog and the adc builds on point gameplay is all right just 11 kills out of 36 not a whole lot 
uh, Bologna. Actually, not a very good player as well. <laughs> Lost me more than one game this uh, in these last two days, but this time he was doing okay. His build is garbage. I don't like that build. I think this is not a good build. Bologna, even though I'm not very experienced in that, I'm pretty sure that a lot of soul players will back me up in this. He doesn't have thorns as well against a Mercury and Jingwei combo, which is obviously a complete mistake. Geb, uh, in terms of relics, he have a blink, which is not very good, but it's plausible for Geb. Also, 14 kills participation on the support is not acceptable. Uh, Shogun's, well, we have Chernabog and Bologna. Shogun's are not a good pick, to put it short. Aquang is the reason that we actually won this game. I, I don't get me wrong, I was doing pretty good this game, but look at this. It's 21 kills out of 36, 16 straight up kills. It's, yeah, this is the reason why we won. His build is on point, his uh, metal at Discord is situational. He probably felt like he was being exploded by Mercury and Agni way too fast, so he decided to go for a little bit more de defense. Usually Alquang, just like me on the Morrigan, is looking for a little bit more damage to just explode people, but probably he felt like he has more than enough damage. So he decided to get some cooldown and security for himself, which is also a great pickup. Mercury. Build is garbage, Malice on the Mercury is garbage, no lifesteal whatsoever, power is pretty low, Titan's Bane, a lot of mistakes, uh, relics are also bullshit, you don't need sprint on Mercury, well, as like I said, this guy already lost me uh, more than a bunch of games, and this is the reason why, don't build this, this is bullshit. You go like a Golden Mode, Boots, Rage, maybe Deathbringer is not absolutely necessary, RC or Bloodforge are viable, Titan's Bane however is not, so Malice is definitely a complete mistake there. Uh, Mercury doesn't have an effective skills to benefit of the Malice passive, so there's no reason to build that at all. Deer wasn't doing a good job, 7 kills participation, wasn't present, wasn't impactful, build is however not bad at all, but he seriously lacks damage, he wasn't a threat to anyone. He was just another tank that was CCing people from time to time, but this is not how you win games. Jinwei builds okay, uh, last item probably win Demon, which is good, but gameplay, however, doesn't seem bright. Even though they were shutting down our ADC quite significantly, from what I felt, judging by the score, this is not actually <laughs> what was happening there. I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. Kumbo Karna. Actually, he was having a really good time there, shutting me down inside my lane, get, wasting all of my time possible while we were chasing him, his build is on point, relics are on point. This guy was actually a big problem on the enemy team, honestly, probably the biggest problem on the enemy team this game. And let's look at the numbers here to just back it up. Yeah, obviously I'm out damaging Agni by AK. Our Aokong literally doubling the damage of the Mercury, <laughs> which should not happen at all. Bologna is ramping up 11k on top of tier, and just like I said, she was escalating. Chernabog, even though the score is pretty decent, he's just 2k on top of the Jingwei that was losing as hell. And uh, 3k below Kumba, Gap, pretty normal stuff. So, yep. Yeah. There we go, ranked mid, finally won a game, finally something worth uploading, just for you guys to know that I'm not dead, that the channel is still going, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of content I'm gonna be uploading from now on, because this format is definitely not working anymore for me, I have not enough time to sink into the game anymore, so I'm usually struggling to get a win or a game worth uploading, even when we win sometimes it's not worth uploading to be honest. So I'm thinking maybe guides or something will come soon in the channel and the, and the delay between videos are gonna be a lot longer than this. So hopefully guys you enjoyed the video of me playing something new, something that I haven't played before. I'm pretty sure I never uploaded a video of Morgan before. And as always, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, have a wonderful day. 
I will see you in the next video.